everyone welcome back i'm cleanne welcome back to my channel so for today's video i wanted to do something a little different um, i just wanted to kind of record and give you guys some advice or tips on how to get through um, a bad day if you're having one so step number one to like kind of get yourself away from that like that bad energy just bad day um i always just try to stay away from social media even if it's for like two days one day or whatever you know the case may be i feel like just stepping away out of that social media world kind of just gives you like a mental break and gets you away from like all that craziness sometimes that tends to happen when you're just browsing and browsing and browsing and i i've known people that it has affected their mood completely they'll be on it for hours and then they'll just feel really crappy about themselves and the reality of it is social media isn't really realistic i mean come on majority of us put filters up there and try to make ourselves look better it's the reality of it so i always say if you're feeling crappy or down about yourself just steer away from it it's not reality that's just the um grander scheme of things is what is on your phone isn't reality me talking or you talking to somebody face to face and going through the motions of the day that's reality it also affects a lot of people as well who aren't they're mentally who aren't there spiritually with themselves and it really affects their self-esteem so i feel like that is a big thing and i always tell my friends that too like just stay off of it stay on for an hour that's all you have to do you don't have to you know designate your whole day to it and if you find that it's affecting you and it's really hurting you then just completely stay off of it i mean it's not worth it it's not worth, look at it this way, it's not worth being on something if it's affecting you mentally, emotionally, and all of that. So, yeah, there are pages that definitely motivate you on it, of course. Like, I look a lot, I look at workouts a lot on it, and it definitely helps with my workouts. But, again, I don't run my life around it, you know? So, try to take that into um, perspective. If you're feeling down, you had a bad day, and you find yourself browsing and browsing and browsing, just get off of it. Focus on what is in front of you. That's what I always say. So, let's step number one is get your booty off of the social media. Okay, so step number two or um, thing number two that kind of helps me through try to keep my mind occupied. So, whether it's working out or reading a book or the biggest thing I've learned that kind of just keeps me... It doesn't make me avoid the problem, but it kind of just keeps me busy is just to make sure my hands are always busy. Keep your hands busy. It kind of gets your mind working, it gets you in motion, and it kind of delittles the problem that you have or that you're going through. It kind of just puts things, not in perspective, but it kind of, like for me, makeup was a big thing. If I was really stressed out or if I had um, just a bad day at school, like I would just go back to like my makeup and just keep my hands moving and really just focus myself into one thing at that moment in particular in that particular moment of time another thing for me was workout like working out that has literally like saved and changed my life in so many ways it taught me discipline it taught me to focus and if i'm feeling really crappy all i do is go hit the gym and just motivate myself that you know what whatever you're going through you're going to get through it because like i always say everything in life is super temporary it's not permanent so Look at it from that way. If you're feeling down and, you know, keep your hands busy. Keep your body and your mind busy. That's a big thing for me. It always has been from just feeling super low. is just to distract myself temporarily. I'm not saying forget about your problems and, and face it later. But, like, kind of put it on pause. Focus on trying to feel better first and then, you know, attack or, you know, consult the problem that you're going through. So, that so another step for me that... I feel like really altered um, my way of like kind of coping with things is definitely who you surround yourself with. I feel like that is a big, big thing. Um, I think who you surround yourself with really has a big play in how you get through things too because I feel like you are who you hang out with. I mean, at least I think so from the experiences that I've seen and I've been through, I have noticed or I have seen majority of people they tend to relate or are very similar to who they hang out with so 
if you're feeling down and you're around people who just feel down all the time, that's obviously not going to lift you up. I really want to be with people who aren't just feeling depressed all the time. I mean, look, I get it. Everyone is going through things. It's, it's normal. Like, we all get there. We all feel super low. But if you're feeling low, you can't be hanging out with somebody who's like, oh my god, like, I feel really low too. How are we going to get through this? No, you have to kind of be with somebody who's gonna be like, you know what, you're gonna get through this. I get what you're feeling right now, it sucks, but you're gonna get through it. And that's the reality of it. You just, just surround yourself with somebody who's just gonna lift you when you're feeling low. Number four, so sometimes when I'm feeling low, I will definitely put up better, upbeat, cheering music. I mean, I think we've all been there and we're feeling like crap, we put on crappy music and that only deviates our mood even more. So do not do that. Obviously, if you're feeling low, put on high, put on like high strung music. Like, when I'm feeling low sometimes, I'll put on like techno or something or rap. Like, I usually, you know, love rap. I'll like, that cheers me up and motivates me. So, listen to good music that usually lifts your energy levels up. And don't listen to sad, mopey music because who wants to be sad? I mean, come on. Life ultimately is a pretty short ride, so we can't think that way. Like, if we're feeling like crap, we want to lift ourselves and feel better. So yeah, that's step number four. Um, so number five. Sometimes I will go and revisit um, all of my goals that I have. Um, so yeah, if you don't have goals listed out for you like on a paper, I usually highly recommend doing that only because it gives you something to look at and it kind of refocuses and re-motivates you to get back to where you want to be. Like for me, I write down all my goals and yeah, when I'm feeling crappy, I just look at them. I'm like, you know what? You have so much left that you need to accomplish. You can't be feeling like this for this long of time. Like get up, go, let's do this and go. And obviously there are days where I don't want to do that. You know, it's normal. Like you're human. We don't want to just get up and go, but it kind of pushes me to like move forward and just look at the bigger picture that you know what, things may suck right now, but they're gonna get better, they have to, um, and they usually do, so. Here are some tips that I have that I hope help you guys out if you are feeling like crap or bad about yourself. Just try to always remember that things in life don't last forever, unfortunately, and we all go through things and it's normal. My journey may be different with the person next to me journey, but in the end we're all the same underneath the skin that we have. So yes, if you guys liked my video, you know, let me know. I'll do a little bit more of these. I just felt like I kind of wanted to get this out there if you're feeling like crap because I've been there too and we all have. So yeah, thanks for watching. I will probably do some makeup videos next week and I'll post them up. And yeah, thank you guys. Bye.